What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today. I bring you the latest news surrounding Destiny 2. So let's get straight into it. So firstly, we're going to cover a report made by CNBC titled Activision's Destiny 2 is struggling as gamers are unhappy over microtransactions. It reads, player interest in Activision Blizzard's Destiny 2 is dropping which will hurt the game's publishers add on revenue this year, one Wall Street firm predicts. Cohen reiterated its market perform rating on Activision Blizzard shares, citing increasing evidence players are leaving the Destiny community. While Call of Duty World War II clearly had a great holiday, which likely sets up strong franchise live services revenue in 2018, Destiny 2 is struggling right now with player engagement appearing to be on the wane. Analyst Doug Gretz, I believe that says, wrote in a note to Clients Tuesday entitled Destiny is not in a good place. We are a bit cautious that potentially disappointing live service revenue could at least partially offset upside from COD in 2018, he said. Gretz reaffirmed his 66 price tag target for Activision Blizzard shares, representing 7% downside to Monday's close. He said several key Destiny video streamers have announced they will reduce content for the game in the future. He noted Twitch viewership for the game is at a franchise low, levels averaging 4 to 7,000 viewers on Friday afternoons versus 14 to 17,000 for Destiny 1 one year ago. Kretz also shared four key reasons why he believes the game is faltering. Design decisions were made that have made D2 a less engaging and less distinctive game than D1. In particular, key aspects of the D2 endgame feel neutered compared to D1. Microtransaction implementation, while not nearly as problematic as in Star Wars Battlefront 2, has still been a source of player unhappiness. Bungie's apparent urgency in responding to player feedback has been disappointing. Until recently, Bungie did a poor job communicating its roadmap going forward, particularly compared to the more open stance of many other live service games. As a result, the analyst is not optimistic the company will be able to turn the Destiny franchise around. We do think Bungie still has some opportunity to fix the game's problems over the next year and recapture engagement, but we're not sure they have the ability to pull it off at this point, he wrote. We also know that Destiny currently has more serious competition in the genre from a refurbished division and the indie title Warframe than it did three years ago when D1 had its own share of player dissatisfaction. The company did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Now, to be honest, such a report at this time surprises me. Destiny 2 has been travelling out of sight for a while. We all saw it ages ago. In the way the game changed from what we had with Destiny 1 in its heyday, we expected so much more with the second game. And well, it failed on almost every level. We particularly saw this within the first few weeks, and since then I honestly can't say it's improved much, because frankly, it hasn't. The game has to be one of the most disappointing overhyped games I can actually remember. And while this dude is right in saying many content creators have been laying off in posting Destiny stuff, it's really interesting seeing such a big source talking about how it's too late for them to turn this mess around. And while I hate to admit it, it's going to take drastic changes to do so. Changes which in my opinion ain't really been seen yet on Bungie's behalf. For sure they have spoke out about decent changes coming, but in my opinion changes are needed now to re-steer the direction this game has gone. And all I ever see Bungie state within weekly updates and tweets and so forth is we're listening, we have big changes coming soon, we're resolving issues with Eververse, we hear you, we will address this, but with no dates confirmed, no confirmation of changes being made to the core game, times now for Bungie and Destiny are among the darkest I've ever seen a game sync to. Seriously sad times ahead if things don't get sorted real quick. Okay, so we're going to move on and hopefully onto such as what I've just stated was missing from Bungie in terms of communication. Cosmo tweeted this, Ryan up the twab for tomorrow. Here's what you can expect. Iron banner changes, masterworks info, raid reward changes, patch note review, and conversation about shaders. Now I know we have seen many tweets as such talking about changes they are making and announcing within TWABs, but at the end of the day we're still in the same shitty situation with the game. Will this TWAB change anything? I'm not sure it will, but hopefully it does. But honestly people, I just cannot see it. We will see. 
On that note guys, I am out. All news within Destiny 2 now seems to be bad news. Hopefully the next news video I post will showcase something of joy. We will just have to wait and see. But guys, a massive thank you for sticking around while Destiny 2 is basically dead. The support truly keeps me going. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.